TP back, at least fills up his mana pool. He can look for that counter plays now, but Ahai is going to be wary of this. He sees the level 6 Enigma. He knows there's a black hole, and if there's a black hole with a TP in from someone like Timbersaw, he will die. Top lane. Mm, 3 4 3, getting low here. Yeah, it looks like this might be your first blood with the Earth Spike coming through. He just stayed a bit too long in that top lane, and Seth actually gets the first blood. Seth and Zhao Wei both with a smoke on hand. They do it under a ward. Yeah, uh, right it, on the edge of that one. They might have just scouted out. No pings just yet from Fnatic. No lines drawn. Ohio's going to back away. DJ will be first contact. They've got Roar. They get it off in time. The Midnight Pulse will come through. There's the Chakram. Do they have the damage? They blow him up with the Timber Chain and maybe gets the kill. The second of the game for LGD, and finally they can get a little bit of breathing room in this top lane. So, him and DJ looking to find a pickoff here. Sep is going to back up at the right time. They don't see Mushi come in. They didn't see that smoke either, but now they're going to come through. It's an invis rune. They're going to Dream Coil up. Sep's going to get Silence as well as Illusory of Inferno Blade. They should be able to bring him down. They even get the stomp off from DJ. They finally get the kill on the board. And there's a couple of heroes rotating in. Shout as well as Aggressive. He's going to phase up looking for open wood. The Doom comes down onto maybe Timber Chain coming in as well. Earth Spike. Mushi getting low. Black Hole is up. They're going to do some damage, but can they bring him down? He's very elusive. Mushi about to get out in time. Illusory of Jaunt away. He'll make it, but he gets under the high ground. He has to TP out. Can oh, he make no. it away? He cancels it! No, unfortunately, Earthspike comes out and he will get caught. Malthus came through, stopped for the TP at the last second, and he was about to make it away, but he just couldn't make it out in time. His only choice was the TP on the high ground there. Had to use that jaunt just a split second too soon. He couldn't quite get to the low ground, and LGD get the better of that trade. Having a black hole to kill Mushi at this stage, not too big of a concern, and they're going to get a follow-up kill on Doom up top, maybe. I, it's, I haven't seen him play Brood in such a long time. The Orchid is not exactly amazing this game. We saw Bulldog going much more towards a fighting build. Oh, Ahaya. He's going to get roared up. There's the Timber Chain coming out. Earth Spike, easy kill. LGD rotate in two heroes. They get that roar of the Earth Spike. Plenty of lockdown. He falls. It's actually a cheeky little play that Aggressive's making by going in this. It's just such a safe way to defend towers Radiance without exposing yourself uh, to real ganks. And... Uh-oh, maybe? Kinetic Field? They see him. Kinetic Field's not on the point, but they do have clips back if they need it, so they're waiting for the TP Static Throw will come out. He's just gonna deny himself. Dream Pearl was even committed for that, and so LGD are just saying, that's great, we could just push bottom now. We still have Black Hole. We still have plenty of damage. We have Roar up as well, but here comes mid one. Looking for Xiao Wei. He's going to go in, but he gets Malphite, and they get off the black hole as well. The finger, they blow him up instantly. Dead for 45. He was not expecting that play from Xiao Wei and LGD, but they will glimpse him back. Kinetic Field Doom is up. That'll be on his step. They still have Roar available, but now he won't be able to use it. Here comes Aggressive Rage. Open Wounds 3 4 3. Getting chased and chewed down. Earth Spike. DJ gets the mech off the hill. Fall. Two dead for Fnatic, and now. They have to back up together. Sep still has that roar. He's looking for a target, but instead, they'll just take the tier two on top of that and maybe gets a solo kill top lane on Ohio, and he's dead for 40. Suddenly, LGD just are going to move together. They, they need this smoke to work, I feel like. Again, they're going to be fighting in two and ages if aggressive stays nearby. Lifesteal is not here. This is not exactly ideal for LGD. They need to back together as a team. Sep and, of course, MMY getting out in time, but they actually might not be there. Static Storm, they get off the wind rift as well. Sep, he's got that roar once the silence wears off, and he's going to get it on to DJ, but it's only one kill. Shall we pop the black hole on the three for the Dream Coil? Cancel it by Mushi. They get the mech off. There's the Doom on the baby. Can they bring MMY down? Absolutely. Shall we in trouble as well? Getting blown up by Ohio in mid with the Shadow Dancers there. They've lost three. They might even lose four. Aggressive is here. He's going to right up going for three, four, three, two for three exchange. Waning Rip comes out. They have the Necro books. They're both pretty low, though, with the Archer as well as the Warrior. And the mid one actually takes it out, but takes a lot of damage in the process. Aggressive. He's not going to go any further, but mid maybe will. And looking for mid one, he gets off the Chakram as well as the Timber Chain coming through. But it's not enough damage and still a great fight for Fnatic. Yep. They overcommit a bit on the Beastmaster, stacking the Silence and wasting the Static Storm, but they still got the kills they need. Waiting Rift onto two, maybe almost getting blown up. The Orc and might bring him down, not enough damage. Mid one, they get the kill. It is Ohio getting the job done with the spawn spider links. Aggressive will rage and TP out. They don't have the damage, but still another great engagement for Fnatic as they bring down the top net worth hero from LGD. Tier 1 tower was looking for Sep, but he was a little close to the Tier 2 at that time. So it looks like we might have a tray here. Glyph comes out top lane. Tier 1 tower will fall there, but there is going to be a TP in. Static Storm comes out aggressive, but he gets through the Kinetic Field as well. The Dream Call, the Rage is up now. The Open Wounds DJ. No Sports Dirt. They get to the mech off in time, but he will fall. The last right click coming out, and they blow up mid one with the Finger of Death from MMY. Yeah, just mis-execution there from 3 4 3 on the... Just... They're going to have to pop their Glyph right now, and with 28 seconds still on the sideline, it looks like he might have to buy back. Ohio will try to split push top lane, but it's Nowhere near that tier two tower. Mushi's gonna jump in. He's gonna use his phase shift, needs to blink out, or just get caught and get destroyed. 
and actually is done. He's dead for 48. They'll back up for now, but that tier 3 tower is insanely low. Ohio finally comes into the fray. Storm doesn't come out, and that th that just helps protect heroes like Lifestealer and Timbersaw to guarantee their damage output. Mushi, phase shifting, he's going to have to blink into the tree line. There is a Lifestealer nearby, but... Uh, he has no TP for 25 seconds at Luzorb. He's going to have to jaunt to the high tree line over here. He's going to get very deep into the forest, but they really want to chase this. They're going to just use the chakra. They don't see the phase shift. He's just oh. behind the trees. Still no TP for 14. Whoa. And actually, I think maybe he might have spotted him. He's going to jaunt into the tree line even further. They won't go, though. And it, is a, it is a puck after all, but... Ounce? TP? Maybe he's found him, but yeah, he's fuels him and he does get it off in time. Maybe waiting for the last second. The Chakram, he has to use a Shadow Blade, but there's Radiance the Whirling Death. Maybe he gets the kill. Aggressive, meanwhile, finds a pickup on 343 on the Disruptor in that top lane. Two quick kills coming out for LGD. That's a bit of the mid one we saw during the group stage, making these kind of misplays, getting caught out alone. Bottom lane, meanwhile, DJ and maybe kind of having a bit of a brawl here with the Doom onto the Timber Soul, but... The Ensnare coming out, he needs a couple more right clicks, including the Infernal Blade. He needs to get the job done, the, the Doom should One more tick down. Infernal Blade, maybe. He can't get there in time, the Scorched Earth not up, the Chakram coming through back, and maybe we'll survive. Radiance not only that, as he yields, cancels the TP, he's gonna get it off in time, will he go for the skill? He's pretty low in HP, and he might find it, DJ's forced to mech up. DJ wants one Infernal Blade, but he can't get it. The Timber Chain will get the job done for maybe playing it perfectly, using the Yules at the right time and staying alive. Wow. Maybe. Like in mid one, it's like, oh, I don't want to take that fight. Let me just back up. But he's going to push out the creep wave. He could TP bottom at any point in time. Again, the broodlings are being sent bottom so they can cut the creep wave, but I don't know if that's going to be able to do enough. They're actually just getting set up here. And it's going to aggro at least the range creep in a melee, but aggressive doesn't really care. He's just going to work on this tower. He's tanky enough. He'll have to use the rage, sure, but that's not a big issue. They have to force the glyph, but the tier 3 is pretty much almost dead at this point. Glimpse back, it's going to come through at best. Now Sep is actually not going to get caught. The, the Glimpse back wasn't far enough. Meanwhile, they get the roar off into Ohio. He's been scouted out. They had a sentry. Finger down, dead for 65. No buyback. They even TP him with maybe he blinks back, and they will have aggressive on the front lines. Just go to work on this tier 3 tower. Yeah, this is looking bad for Fnatic. No brood for this fight. They have to do something here. They have to go for an engagement. They can't just give up just yet. There's too many, like, good Doom talk. I, they, they, you can't Doom everyone. Uh, he might problem. not even be able to Doom anybody. Yeah. He's going to go down without a Doom. They get the static come up. It does nothing to Black Hole. On to mid one. Solo Fnatic will lose three. None of them have buybacks. They're going to find a fourth, and that is it. GG comes down. LGD will take game number one. A strong mid game. They never found the kills. They never found a, a number, like, many objectives off of it.